Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about something that I wanted to talk about for a while now. And then I received a comment about it as well and I was like, you know what, like let me create a video because I feel like it will be useful and like even though I didn't like watch a video about it like going into college or kind of like learn about it before, I feel like it's good for others to watch and can help other people watch and like take advice from it. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. So today I'm going to be talking about how I stay stress-free during college slash how I balance out like my life, social life, school, like family, like everything. I just want to talk about how I balance it all out and I'm going to start off with like how I stay unstressed. Everyone is going to be stressed of course and it's not easy. I wouldn't say it's easy but this just works for me and if you guys don't know I'm a college student i'm a commuter and i'm a freshman this year so coming into freshman year i obviously didn't really know know what to expect like my siblings both have went to um college and so i kind of saw a little bit of like what to do what not to do whatever like that but going into college i really like didn't have like a set like game plan i knew i wanted to be organized and i got myself a planner so basically what i did to like make sure i'm like the least amount of stress that there is i basically took all the syllabuses that i got from all of my classes and for the most part there was a tentative schedule to them showing what day everything is going to be due when you have quizzes when you have this when you have that like projects midterms everything like that so i literally just sat and i wrote in my planner every single month for that semester what is going to be due when when to expect certain things and yeah so i just wrote down everything and it's like a guideline for me so i would definitely recommend getting a planner number one that's like my first tip is to get a planner and be organized that way by writing down mini to-do lists i write i still write down like on my day-to-day -day schedule what homework to get done for that day by looking at the monthly overview and seeing when things are due that's my first tip is to get a planner Tip number two is organize yourself daily. Literally every single day, write down something you want to accomplish for that week, the next day, whatever is due. And the next tip I have for you guys is do not procrastinate. I know you guys probably hear that a bunch of times, but seriously, do not procrastinate. What I do that really, really helps me, and it might sound like, oh, that's so extra. I just look at it as if like I was in high school still, like. Sometimes you have homework and it's like, oh, it's due the next day. We're in college. It's not really like that because you necess not necessarily have the class the next day. Like for me, I have it like Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'll have the same classes. So I'll have a day in between where I don't have the class. But I still like to think of it as like, oh, it's due tomorrow. Like try to get it done. Try to get it done with that mentality that you don't have a week to get it done. Like try to get it done either the day you get it if you have time i'm not saying to like stress yourself out and like put it all in one day and force yourself to get it done try to just look at it as like okay like if i have time let me just get it done quickly if it's not that big of a deal or if it's a long essay break it up into a couple of days so one day write a page or a, like two paragraphs depending on how long you need your essay to be just break it up so that you kind of get a little bit done each day and you're not waiting until the last day I'm staying up until 4 a.m. to try to finish a five page essay so definitely do not procrastinate I feel like that is probably like when students start to fail and get behind is when they procrastinate and they wait till the day before to get homework done when in reality you had a couple days or even weeks to get it done so don't procrastinate and try to get it done a couple days before I do that and that definitely definitely helps me that's why if you didn't see my college week in my life go check it out but somebody asked me like how I stay like stress-free because they have homework piling up don't let it pile up that's my biggest tip do not let it pile up get it done I like to get my homework done for the week honestly on Sundays before I go to work I try to get done as much as I can for the upcoming week so that let's say for example I get something done for Wednesday Tuesday night I don't have to worry about that homework because I already did it so I really just try to get that done so definitely do not procrastinate that is also key and just honestly do your work really it's college like nobody's gonna be on your 
but telling you get this done get this done so do not procrastinate so that is kind of how I kind of stay stress free those couple of tips and I'm going to talk about how I balance out everything else in my life and it kind of goes hand in hand because in order for me to balance out my social life with being with my family doing YouTube I really make sure that I get school work done first and that is like what's the most important to me like school comes first if I have to not film a video that day for some reason or not go out that day or anything like that I make sure I get my school work done first and that's what is important and it's also about having like what you believe like if you think partying is more important this day rather than studying for a test you know things like that come into play of course but how I balance out my life is first getting all my work done for the week just making sure I'm prepared for the upcoming weeks um, and just stay organized myself and then I said during the week obviously there's seven days so I try to set certain days for hanging out with my boyfriend hanging out with my family and like friends and everything like that and that's what I think is important as well is kind of having a schedule like for YouTube I have my filming schedule like when I'm gonna upload so I upload every Sundays and every Thursdays every Sunday and every Thursday but what I do is I know that I have to get it done so I think ahead and I'm like okay what am I what am I gonna film to upload this day or I'll edit the video on Saturday night so that Sunday I can do my homework and then upload and I have to worry about it so it's really about like also setting a schedule and setting set days if that makes sense so I have those filming days and those uploading days and then I have days where me and my boyfriend's schedule works out where we both get out early some days from school and then we hang out for a little bit before we go to work so just set certain days for certain activities and plan ahead so if you want to make plans with your friends plan a little bit ahead and know okay let me get my homework done so that this day I have free and then Saturdays I like to completely keep free for like family whenever we have like let's say a birthday party or just family time in general like going out to dinner with your family like being with your family so I try to set Saturdays nothing like I try not to like cover any shifts on Saturday because I don't work Saturday so I like to take advantage of that and like be with my family just have a really relaxing day and then Sundays I set my day to get some homework done for the upcoming week and I also work Sunday night so I have three things that I get done on Sundays which is upload schoolwork and work so it is a lot and I've been just managing really well because of all the tips I gave you guys and it really works for me and I know may college may be different obviously for every person so not everyone has the same type of schedule not everyone is taking the same type of classes not everyone has the same majors but this really has helped me so far this semester it's almost done and it's crazy it's already November but I just wanted to give you guys tips because now is the time where it's going to get stressful and it's finals coming up, a lot of papers, a lot of presentations. And trust me, if you don't procrastinate, you organize yourself and you manage your time wisely, you will do good. You will not fail. You just have to work hard and honestly push through because you're almost done. You have to take every day like slowly and day by day. Take the most of your days. Honestly, do not wait until last minute because that's when it's going to get stressful and that's when you're going to fall behind but yeah i just really wanted to share this with you guys because a lot of people ask me like how i do it like how do you manage a lot of your time and how do you stay stress-free because like in my videos i'm literally like barely doing work even though it's like a college week in my life and it's because i break things up into little pieces or in school i like to get a little bit done too whenever i have breaks so take advantage of your schedule as well. I forgot to mention that. If you have breaks during your classes, like in between classes, I usually stay there sometimes depending on how big my break is. But get things done while you're there as well and take advantage of the resources you have and all of that sort of stuff. But yeah, I just hope you guys learn something and take my advice from this video because I'm a college freshman and freshman and it's not easy it's not the easiest ever but you kind of just have to prepare yourself and know that you will get through it it's just how are you going to get through it and doing what works for you as well as your schedule as well as your family and you will be happy you'll be able to have a social life you'll be able to do something you love like 
me I love doing YouTube so like you'll be able to find time for things that you love if you really set your heart to it and you really set your mind to do it so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you like sit down videos like this I just really want to like inspire you guys and give you guys advice and really help you in tough situations because it's not easy so definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down any more videos that you would guys want to see from me and if you guys have any more questions let me know I'll be sure to answer all of them or in a Q&A that I really want to do so if you have any personal questions any questions about school still let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications to stay notified when I upload next and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys